blood of Christ most worthy of all glory and honor. Save us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Save us, Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Gracious be us, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You have redeemed us, O Lord, in your blood. And made us a of our God. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have appointed your only begotten Son, the Redeemer of the world, and willed to be appeased by his blood. Grant, we beg of you, that we may worthily adore this price of our salvation, and through its power be safeguarded from the evils of the present life, so that we may rejoice in its fruits forever in heaven, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Consider the second fall of Jesus under the cross, a fall which renews the pain of all the wounds in his head and members. Come to me, all you who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. Father, let us walk in the footsteps of Jesus, who redeemed us not with gold or silver, but with his own blood. In the name of Jesus the Lord, amen. Pope Francis journeys to Malta with a message of compassion and kindness. EWTN will bring you complete coverage as the Holy Father encourages the faithful, meets with religious leaders, prays for migrants and more. Pope Francis in Malta, April 2nd and 3rd, here on EWTN. EWT, live truth, live Catholic. Family, a prayer that we pray together is a powerful prayer. So please pray together with me our EWTN family prayer.
Today we pray for the fruitfulness of the EWTN family prayers. Most Holy Trinity, source of all blessings, we worship you. We pray that all of the intentions that we pray together and bring to you may be a great instrument of many graces and blessings for the world. Through the miracle of EWTN, we gather together in the name of Jesus, knowing that whatever we ask in his name will be given to us. We ask you to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit in all, peace, joy, and love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Do this in memory of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sweetly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, my brothers and sisters, Pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it, and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that, I may, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth. Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised I will give your descendants as a perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. <laughs> Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Amen. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Amen. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, would stood him in a breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you your Dominus vobiscum. Lexio sancti vengeli secundum Ioannem. Gloria Jesus said to the Jews, 
If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have a testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures, because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet, if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God. Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But you do not believe his writings. How will you believe my words. Verbum Domini. You know, we very often use filters and strainers. You know, we, we filter out liquids. You know, we use a strainer for the same thing. You know, it happens when we cook or when we're trying to purify something. We need a filtration device. That's a good thing. However, the one things that we should never filter out are the truth and grace of Jesus Christ. But often, we may be doing this. And this is what we see here in the gospel today. Those who are questioning Jesus have like a huge filter on them. They don't want to fully understand. They don't want to fully accept Jesus as Lord, as the Son of the Father. So they are contending with him, questioning him, scrutinizing him, accusing him. For us, you know, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus gives us so much. You know, the law came through Moses. Grace and truth comes through Jesus Christ. And this grace and truth, it's meant to flow, to flow in us and through us. And, and it, 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 it's so much where, as the Psalms say, that, that it's like overflowing, like a cup overflowing, because it's being poured in. 
But here in this gospel passage, you know, the questioning the validity of Jesus's work, his presence there, and just who he is. And Jesus has answers for them. So this all began with Jesus healing on the Sabbath. He says, who are you to heal on the Sabbath? No, Jesus heals on the Sabbath because he, he loves. You know, somebody is in need of a healing. And he's doing the Father's will by making someone well again. But these are upset. By what authority do you do this? My authority comes from the Father. See, but here, here they're, they're blinded. Here they've got this filtration on them. Now, Jesus points out, he says, well, they got kind of like a, like a hearing going on or some kind of trial before him. Now, when Jesus says, hey, listen up here. He says, John came testifying on my behalf, and you listen to him. And then he says that, look at the works themselves. Don't these works testify to, uh, about the Father? I mean, you, you know, he's, he's telling them this. I mean, because look, look at this. I mean, just think about it. The works of Jesus. This is all love here. He's showing mercy. He's forgiving sins. He's healing people. He's giving people hope again. Giving them meaning to their lives. And, and, and just the very character of Jesus, the words he's saying, his knowledge of the scriptures. No, there's, there's, like his very character, you know, just radiating out of him love, peace, joy, gentleness, kindness. But yet they, they can't see that. And then he says, well, okay, I, I, I come on behalf of the Father. You've never seen the Father. You don't know the Father. Now, because if they did really know the Father, if they were true people of prayer, they would know him. They would know his voice. He says, well, you search the scriptures. You say you are students and teachers of the of the, of, 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 the, of the scriptures. But the scriptures, they speak on, the, on behalf of Jesus. They, 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 the, the prophets and the Old Testament, Moses. No, it's all pointing toward Jesus. But yet, they don't see that. And then, another thing that is getting in the way from them seeing Jesus is their very selves. They have their own agenda. They haven't fully submitted and surrendered to the teachings of the scriptures. They haven't fully have assented. No, because, because the scriptures there, even in the Old Testament, there's love there. You know, it speaks, the prophets speak of the one who is coming, the Messiah, the anointed one. You know, who's going to, who's gonna, you know, uh, give sight to the blind. You know, who's going to set captives free from sin and death. There he is. You know, but, but they, they have their own interpretation, their own philosophy. Because they're caught up in themselves and in their own comforts. So they can't receive him. And they can't have true life in him. And so Jesus says, hey, right, right out. He says, points out right there, the love of God is not in you. He's right. The love of God is not in them. If it was, they, would, they can see some of these things. They can see that he's true. They can see or right away he's the anointed one, the Messiah, the Christ. Sadly, some of us can fall into this. You know, the Lent is a time where we're doing penance, where we're praying more, and where we're supposed to be doing more charity. 
And during this time, you know, uh, we, we should be open, more open to the truth of God, to what he has to say to us. And some truths are hard to swallow, especially the truths about ourselves. Grace and truth comes through Jesus Christ. And again, he wants, we are called that, that this grace and truth is flowing over. Okay, what stops us? Well, here, you know, we, it, it usually begins with ourselves. You know, we get caught up in our own comforts, our own ways of living. You no, know, we have our own ideals, ideologies, philosophies. And many times this results from maybe, maybe giving too much attention and maybe putting too much emphasis and beliefs in our political parties. I'm not advocating, I'm not taking sides here, whether it's right or left, up and down. No, we, we, we give too much to it, that we put our hope in that instead of here in the gospel of the Lord. And, and what's happening when we do that? We put a filter on it. No, we, we don't receive the fullness of the gospel. The fullness that this is eternal life Jesus is offering us. Eternal life begins and ends with Jesus. The teachings of the gospel, the teachings of the church. But sometimes it's the political party distracting us. And then our own selves. There again is our own pride, our own ego. Now, one thing about the Pharisees, about these people questioning Jesus, is, is that they're, hey, they like human praise. Now, why do they stick to these different ways of thinking that, which are wrong? It's because other people think like them. And so they, they like the camaraderie of all of that. You know, the, 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 the fellowship of whatever that is, you know. And, and because all they're doing is praising each other, and that's what they're living for. Oh, they're looking good. Oh, you know, look how, how great they are, how holy they are. You know, they're only seeking honor, human honor, human glory. That's why Jesus says, I, you know, that, that he's not here for human praise. He's here to do the will of the Father. That's it. You no, know, and... and and for us, you know, yeah, there are certain things. We've got weaknesses. We've got things that hold us back, okay? Truths that we don't fully want to accept or assent to. But Jesus never turns us away. If there's something difficult there, if there's something that, that, that's filtering it out, that is hard to let go of, go to the Lord. He's not going to ever, you know, he's not going to condemn you and push you down and says, well, you got it. You got to believe that and to come to me. He says, no, come as you are. I will help you, he says. Remember, it's similar to when that one uh, story in the scriptures, Jesus is about to heal or wants to, uh, about the, uh, a father of a young man asks Jesus to heal his son. And Jesus says, well, if you believe, you know, believe. And he, and he says, do you believe? And he says, yes, I believe, but help my unbelief. So in, in a very like manner, you know, if, if we have trouble accepting a certain truth here, Jesus, yes, I believe this is truth. Help me to believe it. Help me to accept it. And he will. It's a process sometimes. But that's why we stay focused on Jesus Christ. That's why we look to him in all things. 
We should be desiring him above all, above everything, walking in his ways. One thing, you know, it, it's hard, you know, we, to, we, one thing about the gospel is we, we should have wanted to make it our own. Jesus, everything about eternal life, I want it all. So a lot of the saints, that's, that was their desire. So blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. True righteousness is Jesus Christ. What are we hungering and thirsting for? It has to be him, him alone. You know, and to follow Jesus, Jesus, is, he, his mind, his heart was fixed on the Father. You know, that's why when it came to the things of the earth, you know, the, of course, Jesus enjoyed all things in, in, in moderation. And, you know, he, he was happy in human happiness. No, but, but the will of the Father was first. They asked him once about food. He says, hey, you want some food? He says, well, my food is to do the will of the Father and accomplish his work. That was first. Of course, he liked to eat and this, but first and foremost was to do the will of the Father. And us, to follow Jesus Christ, to do the will of Jesus Christ. So that, this, so that this, the will of Jesus Christ is, remember, those two great commandments. And to have that love flowing over, the truth flowing over. That is it there. And so we, we got to make it our own. And St. Paul, you know, even St. Paul, that's what he desires. You know, Philippians chapter 3 says, yeah, you know, I, not that I haven't made it my own, meaning that he was striving to do that. He says, well, this is how you do it. Jesus is the prize of our lives. He says, I go forward to the high prize in Jesus Christ. There's where I go. That's what's ahead of me. That's where I'm walking from. That's how we do it. So we want everything. We want all of Jesus. And that way, you know, we, we have this heart, seeking the heart, the mind of Christ, to think and to love like him. And that way we can say, like with St. Paul, as the, toward the end of his life, he says, it is no longer I that live, but Christ the Lord who lives in me. May those be our words too. God bless you all. All praise, honor, and glory be to the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as we turn to him and humbly pray. That the church may guide the people of God to that true freedom which can only be attained through adherence to the will of our Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Holy Father may enjoy the constant guidance and counsel of God in his undertakings for the welfare and growth of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that world leaders will have the wisdom to see that human life is the greatest treasure and that they may work to protect and enhance this gift. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the dying, the homeless, the poor, and the forgotten, that they will know their true dignity in the sight of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that after their earthly life, they may come to share in the glory of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Lord, we ask that you bring peace in the war between Ukraine and Russia, and that there be peace in any and all conflicts throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of might and power, every good and perfect gift comes down to us from you. Implant in our hearts the love of your name, Increase our zeal for your service. Nourish what is good in us and tend it with watchful care. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, the good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer and sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis and St. Clair, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the 
the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. I believe that you, O oh Jesus, are in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you and desire you. Come into my heart, I embrace you. O oh, never, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love, O oh Lord Jesus, I beseech you, absorb my mind, that I may die through love of your love, who were graciously pleased to die through love of my love. Amen.
Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Bow down for the blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people. Keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. Prayer for vocations. God our Father, who wills that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of your truth, we beg you to send laborers into your harvest and grant them grace to speak your word with all boldness, so that your word may spread and be glorified, and all nations may know you, the only God, and him whom you have sent, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Americas, Mary, Mother of the Franciscan Missionaries of the Eternal Word, pray for us.
Dios omnipotente y misericordioso, guarda la nuestra dolorosa condición. Conforta a tus hijos y apre y nos recorre a la esperanza, porque sentimos en medio a nosotros la tu presencia de Padre. Per Cristo nuestro Señor. So the temple guards came back. The chief priest and the Pharisees asked them, why did you not bring him in? No man ever spoke like that before, the guards replied. The simple and unsophisticated temple guards recognized your wisdom, Lord. The chief priest did not. Give me a wise and understanding heart as I listen to your word this Lent. O oh God, I hope with complete trust that you will give me, through the merits of Jesus Christ, all the necessary grace in this world and everlasting life in the world to come. For this is what you have promised, and you always keep your promises. Amen. Hey, Mom, we learned rosary in school today. Oh, that's wonderful, dear. You want to say rosary with me? Give me a whole bunch of them. I don't know. It's late and... All right. But it's been a long time since I've said a rosary. You'll have to help, okay? Okay. First you start in the name of the Father, Father and of the, the Son, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Hey, kid. I just wanted to say goodnight. Hey, Dad, you want to say a rosary with me and Mom? Well, there's, there's a game on. Yeah, sure. I'd like to. Mom, Dad, I'm going to Jenny's to listen to music. Hey, sis, you want to say a rosary with us? Um, no thanks. Maybe the music can wait. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died. EWT, live truth, live Catholic. EWTN invites you to join us in this rosary as we pray for peace in Ukraine. One of the great blessings of this network is that it enables us to be united in prayer as one global family, praying for those things which concern us all. During this month, we will pray for world peace using a prayer of Pope St. John XXIII, who wrote the encyclical Pachamentaris, Peace on Earth. Lord Jesus Christ, who are called the Prince of Peace, who are yourself our peace and reconciliation, who so often said, peace to you, grant us peace, 
Make all men and women witnesses of truth, justice, and brotherly love. Banish from their hearts whatever might endanger peace. Enlighten our rulers that they may guarantee and defend the great gift of peace. May all peoples of the earth become as brothers and sisters. May long for peace blossom forth and reign always over us all. Amen. Let us also bring to the Lord our personal intentions. The Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Luminous Mysteries, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, he arose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there shall come to judge the living and the dead. And believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray this, our Father, for persecuted Christians and the conversion of their persecutors. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For the increase of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first luminous mysteries. The baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. Peter spoke, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all, beginning in Galilee after the baptism. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The second luminous mystery, the wedding feast of Canaan. There was a wedding at Canaan, Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the run, wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit 
of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be forever. Glory to God, and to the Son. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those that need most mercy. mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God and the call to conversion. Isaiah prophesied, seek the Lord while he may be found, call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As 
O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. luminous mystery, the transfiguration. St. Peter wrote, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we, made know, when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we were eyewitnesses of his majesty, for he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came from him from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and ever shall be, world without O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are most in need of thine mercy.
the fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist. From the letter to the Hebrews, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God. For this reason, he is mediator of a new covenant, since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant. Those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, on eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Pray for the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and his intentions. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us and every In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. With deepest humility, I adore